Hi, this is Pastor Coy Sampson with the Mace Road Church. Welcome to Psalms 365.1, where we will be praying through the book of Psalms one day at a time, asking God to shape our lives to the truth of Scripture in Christ Jesus, devoting ourselves to the heart of God as revealed to the psalmist by Holy Spirit, and praying the Holy Scriptures back to our Father in Heaven. Hello, welcome to day 174 of Psalm 365.1. Today we're taking a break from Psalm uh, 78 where we're at and praying the Shema. We're praying in Deuteronomy chapter 6, uh, verse 4 through 9. Now we'll, we're going to pray through the Shema today and tomorrow and then next next week we'll be praying, uh, continuing into praying the Shema. There's three different scriptures that we're going to focus on. But the main one is here in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. This is where we get Shema. And the Shema is a Jewish prayer that the Jewish people would pray over and over again. They prayed it multiple times and uh, consistently every day they prayed this prayer. And the Shema, it means here. So Shema is Hebrew for here. And you get Shema from the very first line of the prayer in Hebrew 6 or in Deuteronomy 6, chapter 4. It says, Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Echad. So Shema Yisrael, Shema Hear Israel, hear what the Lord is saying, hear what Moses is saying about these laws. And the main law is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. This was the main commandment that Moses is saying. He's really telling all the people to remember the commandments of God and to keep them, to not go back like they did before and not rebel and not turn their back on God really put this on the front of their, and it says in the front lid of your eyes, right? <laughs> right where you see it. It says, you shall uh, teach them diligently to your children and talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be on the front lids between your eyes. You shall write them on your doorposts of your house and on your gates. Always have them before you. Kind of be obsessed with the Word of God, with the commandment of God. And you write it on your hand and in the front lids of your eyes that it's always before you, on your doorpost, on your gates, that they're there before you always. And we want to kind of raise an argument that prayer should be in schools and the Ten Commandments should be in schools and Bibles should be taught in schools and, and, and all these things should happen in school. The Bible teaches us we are responsible to teach the Word of God to our children. We are responsible to pray with our children. We are responsible to have the commandments passed down to our children. Talk about them when we rise up in the morning, when we go to bed at night, at our dinner tables, teaching our children to pray. It's not the responsibility of the school to teach our children to pray. It'd be great if godly and God-fearing and God-honoring prayer was going on in school. It'd be great if the Ten Commandments were taught in school. It'd be great if if um, the Bible was taught as a class in school. That'd be awesome. But it's not the government's responsibility or the school's responsibility to teach our children these things. If we send them to a Christian school, by all means. Even if we send our kids to Christian schools, the Word of God teaches that it's our responsibility to teach our children about these things. For a husband and a wife, it's our duty to speak of these to one another. It's our duty to, to talk about these things, to have them before us at all times. If you're single and you're living alone, it's your responsibility to always have the Word of God before you in your house, on your doorpost, so to speak, on the gates, so to speak, before you on your right hand, you're meditating on it. This is what it means to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. This kind of love is an all-consuming love. It's an obsessional love that we are putting God before us continually, all the time, meditating on Him, praying continually, as the Word of God says. It's no accident that the Jewish people ask Christ, what is the greatest commandment? And they were trying to capture him some way. Every Jew knew. Every Israelite knew the Shema. They prayed it over and over again. As much as we know the Lord's Prayer, 
They prayed the Shema way more. They probably knew the Shema more than we know the Lord's Prayer. They knew this. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. They knew it. Every Israelite knew this. But Jesus said the next one's like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. This kind of love is what God is calling us to. To love in a way that we are keeping the word of God. That we are loving in the spirit of truth. We are loving this way. That we're teaching the word of God. We're putting it out there forward all the time. What an act of love to teach your children. To teach your household. To lead your household in the word of God. Whatever your household looks like. You should write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. That this would be on the threshold of our house. When people come into our household or our property or our place of living, it's the place of the Word of God. That we live there, we dwell there where the Word of God is housed and spoken of and focused on. So, Father God, we pray as we do pray that through the Shema that we're not trying to go back to Judaism. We're not trying to go back under the law, but we're trying to focus in on the word of God that teaches us to always seek after you, always love you with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our strength. Teach us, Holy Spirit, to love this way. Instruct us in your word. Always have it before us where we dwell and where we live from our rising up to our lying down. We love you, God. We give you praise as we pray the Shema out of Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 4 through 9. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and talk of them when you sit in your house when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes, and you shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. Father God, let your word dwell richly in our hearts. Let your word become part of us, changing us from the inside out. Revealing your character, your heart, your will to us. Help us to seek after you and to love you with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our strength. We give you praise. We love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. I love you. Jesus loves you. Love one another. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you.